Magandang buhay mga bata! Tara! Samahan ninyo ako matuto kasama si... Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you! Science 5, Quarter 1, Lesson 1, Milk Based. Our topic for today is about recognizing useful and harmful materials. Again, this is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Do you know that everything around us is matter? The soil, the water, and air. Matter has different properties that make it distinct from one another. Some types have properties that make them good materials for producing useful products. Other types have properties that make them harmful. There are different materials found at home. These are important because they are used in our daily activities such as cooking, cleaning our houses, treating ailments, maintaining personal hygiene, and many more. It is important to know their different properties so that we can identify whether a certain material is harmful or useful. Let us start our lesson with an activity. Directions determine which of the activities below is desirable or harmful. Write D if desirable or H if harmful. Number 1. Placing the biodegradable waste in the compost pit. The answer is letter D, desirable. Number two, smelling the fumes exhausted by cars. The answer is H, harmful. Number three, throwing banana peelings anywhere. The answer is H. Harmful. Number four, covering the textbook with acetate. The answer is D. Desirable. Number five, burning plastic bottles. The answer is H. Harmful. This time, let's have another activity. Directions. Put a check mark if the statement is correct and X mark if not. Number one. Halal certified food can be consumed by Muslims. The correct answer is checked. Number two, keep pesticides in areas away from children's reach. The correct answer is check. Number three, all household materials are useful. The correct answer is Number four, muriatic acid can be labeled as corrosive and poisonous. The correct answer is checked. Number five, recyclable materials such as empty water bottles are harmful. 
The correct answer is X. Another learning activity, directions, classify the following materials usually found at home and in school using the table below as a guide. And here are the choices. Cooking oil, demonstration table, laundry table, armchair, bell, Chalkboard, bed, frying pan, mosquito repellent, flag, books, class record. Materials usually found at home. Cooking oil, mosquito repellent, Bed, laundry table, frying pan, and these are the materials usually found in school. Armchair, demonstration table, flag, class record, bell, chalkboard, and books. Let's go with another activity with what's in. Directions. Copy the table. Observe how the materials in the pictures are being handled. Identify whether they are useful or harmful by putting a check mark on the appropriate column. First column, we have object. Second column, useful or harmful for the third column. So this time, let's have the first one. Broken glass. Is it useful or harmful? The correct answer is harmful. Number two, an empty bottle being refilled. Is it useful or harmful? The correct answer is useful. Number three, candy wrapper made bag. Is it useful or harmful? The correct answer is useful. Number four, Vegetable peelings made into compost. Is it useful or harmful? The correct answer is useful. Number five, use boxes as book organizers. Is it useful or harmful? The correct answer is Useful. So this time, let's answer the question, how do the materials become useful or harmful? Materials are said to be useful when they serve their purpose. These may have properties such as durability, flexibility, elasticity, hardness, and resistance to water, heat, or acid. Most of the useful materials can be reused and recycled. For example, a container for solid or liquid. When it is already empty, it can still be used for another purposes such as a flower vase or a coin back, or a house decor. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has property that makes it reusable. Other materials can be recycled by making new products from these materials, 
for example, candy wrappers can be turned into fancy curtains and plastic bottles turned into Christmas lanterns. Some useful materials may also bring hazards. For example, a broken glass jar can cause cuts or injury. So you really have to be careful, especially when you see a broken glass. Toxic substances may also be present in the things you commonly use such as paints, cleaners, fumes, gels, or powders. These materials may bring harm to your health, environment, and other organisms when not used properly. That's why you should be careful when handling and using different materials. Let's have another activity. Where do I belong? Directions classify the different materials found in the word bowl below as useful or harmful. Draw the shapes with labels in your answer sheets and write your answers inside them. Afterwards, answer the follow-up questions. So we have heart for useful and triangle for harmful. Let's do it! Here are the answers. For useful materials, we have old newspaper, candy wrappers, vegetable peelings, food cartons, and empty jar. For harmful materials, we have drained batteries, used syringe, Single-use plastic bags, single-use water bottles, and rusted metal containers. This time, let's try to answer the following. Number one, which materials are useful? When do they become useful? The possible answer Materials are useful when they serve their purpose and do not cause harm. Number two, which materials are harmful? When do they become harmful? Possible answer, harmful materials bring hazard to humans and harm the environment. This time, let's have another activity with what's more. Activity number two, happy or sad? Directions, draw a happy face if the material is useful and sad face if it is not. Number one, candy wrappers made into bath. The correct answer is happy face. Number two, a broken glass thrown in the backyard. The correct answer is sad face. Number three, disinfectant bottles thrown everywhere. The answer is sad face. Number four, a box made into a bookshelf. The correct answer is happy face. Number five, leftover food from restaurants turned into fertilizers. The answer is happy face. Number six, Used syringe and needles placed beside children's toys. The correct answer is sad face.
number seven, a broken container turned into a decorative plant holder. The correct answer is happy face. Number eight, used car tires turned into park benches. The answer is happy face. Number 9, old colorful magazines made into paper baskets. The answer is happy face. And last, number 10, empty bottles of paint thrown into the garbage bin for burning. The answer is sad face. We're done with the lesson and congratulations, you did very well in this topic. Our lesson again is about Science 5, Quarter 1, Lesson 1, Milk Based. It is about recognizing useful and harmful materials. Again, this is Teacher Aika, your online teacher. Have a great day! Bye!